Today we'll make a simple lace ribbon bow. Keep watching. We're going to start off with some of these pearls or buttons and some of this cotton lace ribbon. This is vintage ribbon that I found at the thrift store and it's actually this one is doubled. It's in a peach or apricot color and then this is a beige or khaki colored and it's a different pattern and it's just a single layer. But what you'll note is the curve. The curve is the important part. This is easy. It's a quick, a quick simple way to brighten up any shabby chic decor, um, Victorian theme, whatever you like. In fact, I'll link the video um, for which I made these flowers. So you can see what a tussy mussy looks like. Be sure that you go and watch this so you can see the total effect in the end. I'm going to cut off eight inches in two pieces of each of these. So two of the beige and two of the peach. I'm just lining it up on a tape measure that I have there, taped to my table. And we're gonna need a base. So what I'm gonna use is just a piece of scrap paper that I have, and I'm gonna cut out like an oval or circle shape that we can make as a base for the flower. So it all has something to grab hold to. We're gonna make two because we're making two flowers. So be sure you protect your fingers. There's gonna be a lot of hot glue involved here. A lot of opportunities to get hurt, so just be very careful. I'm gonna place the edge down, overlap about one inch, and then glue that in place. This is new for me. I've never done this before. There are probably lots of other techniques, and I know that you can certainly sew these, but this is a quick no-sew method that I think turns out just as nice. So you're going to continue this way. You're going to continue to turn and tuck, turn and tuck, turn and tuck until all of the length of that ribbon is down on the base. This is not a tight flower, so you wouldn't necessarily think of this as a rose, but it could certainly be any type of a, of a spring flower, I think. It's an imaginary flower, let's put it that way. Same thing here when you start your second layer, and I've chosen the lighter color and the smaller ribbon for the inside, just like a natural flower would be. And you're just gonna tuck a little bit and turn a little bit, sticking that down to that glue you have down there. This time I just put a puddle of glue in there, and it, that way I can continue to turn try to make the process a little bit quicker. Just add the glue when you need to. Again, be super careful. Sometimes when I get going too quick on a project, I forget which fingers have the protectors on them and I stick the wrong finger down. So, I'm gonna have to run by Dollar Tree and get another set. They come in threes, but in my case, they should probably come in a set of 10, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're at the end of that second row. I'm just kind of turning that under a little bit and tucking it down in the center. And there's our pretty little spring flower. Now we're going to need a center so you can choose any button that you like. That would be pretty. Or you can put like a pearl bead or something like that in there, whatever you like. You can put several, you can put three in there if you wanted to, whatever you like. And you're just gonna go right in the center with a little hot glue and place it down there. I don't want this to fall out, so I'm sure to hold it there for a little while. That rose is complete, and we're gonna speed through the next one just so that you're sure that you get the idea. Now, the second one is going to be a tighter flower. It's going to be, in essence, a smaller flower, maybe one that hasn't bloomed all the way open yet. So you can achieve that by just making more frequent turns and tucks. Just gonna make it tighter. Keep going in tighter and tighter with your twists and shorter amounts of ribbon to make those little pleats. 
So we got the outside done. You can tell already that it's smaller than the other one. Gonna add my hot glue here and start with my inner layer. Same thing here, just place it down and make sure that the pretty side is the side that's toward the center. So you're guaranteed to see the best part of that ribbon. Tucking and turning and tucking and turning all the way around until you're at the end. You can fold that little end over just a smidge and tuck it down if you don't want your edge to be as obvious. I don't mind it at all. Same thing here. You're going to add your button or pearl bead or whatever you like. And there's your tighter flower. So you can see them side by side. One is smaller than the other. Now we're going to trim off whatever we don't need this excess off of this paper because we want this to be nice and neat. A nice presentation from the front and the back depending on how you use this in an arrangement. You want to be sure that it's nice and neat. So I've taken this brown floral stem that I had for another project that I did and I just saved it because I always save my pieces and we're going to put these flowers on this stem. So just choose whichever one you want on top. Put you a good bit of glue there and then over the top of it and then we're going to take a scrap of paper and just pinch it down. I didn't have the dexterity with the finger protectors on here, so just be super careful if you do this barehanded. Then you're just going to press that down and it's going to seal it right in the middle so it stays on there for a long time. Well, hopefully a long time. So far, this has worked for me. I'm going to do the same thing here. And there is our gorgeous little double pick. Here it is in a project that I've done. Be sure that you go and watch that one next. And it's mixed in with some other florals from the thrift store and or Dollar Tree. I think it makes a beautiful spring piece. Very nice to add to any bouquet or arrangement that you're doing. This is also be very pretty in a wreath. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate my subscribers. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.